Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen, Papa Boris here, playing some more arena. My daily quest is to win with Warlock or Priest, and I utterly failed to win with Warlock in my last arena run. Luckily, my next arena run has Priest. Luckily, in quotation marks, I don't think Priest is very good, or has ever been very good in the arena. But we're doing it, hoping to get one win. I'm not going to dick around with this Militia, although it is better in the late game. We'll just take something that I can play right away on turn 4 and feel good about. Copy a spell on your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Interesting. Then it returns someone a random one cost minion. Uh, okay, we'll try that. Here we got that Threshadon thing. That's cool. Restore two health to all friendly characters. Randomly toss three hats to other minions. Right, that guy. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and try this. See if I can get some healing. The, the Myrmidon might have been the right play. After this minion attacks, freeze it. Spell damage plus one. Swap its attack and health. Interesting. That seems... Meh, spell damage on a two-mana minion is never too bad. And then there's this guy. High upside, but very, very high downside. I'm going to take this. Even though it seems awful, it is good if you can silence it. And an 8-8 for 6 is decent. Okay, we got a good... These are all really good cards, actually. It's kind of tough to say what's best. I will try the Radiant Elemental, but I think any of those, you could have made an argument. Destroy your opponent's weapon. Mechanic. We'll take a Priestess, just to have a one-mana play. This guy, oh, this is so much better than that stupid Warlock Bat thing. It's only one more mana, but it guarantees the effect. I'm going to take Spirit Lash, though, because it's got some healing, works well with spell damage if I get it later, and it's removal, mass removal, which is good. Okay, speaking of which, actually, this is really, really good. Um, but I want some spell damage here for the Spirit Lash, so we'll take the Spell Shifter, even though the other cards are both probably better. Okay, deal two damage to all other damaged minions. That's very interesting. Mind control is really good, but this is, I think, one of, still one of the strongest cards in the arena. One of the few saving graces for priests. So I'm going to grab that. Okay, this is an everything separate type of thing. Got it. I'm going to grab this. Shadow Madness is too finicky, and this thing has actually been pretty solid when I've seen it. Holy Nova, I think, definitely is still an always pick type of card. Ah, uh, I don't think that's very good in arena. After your hero attacks, that's not going to happen. I guess we're taking a sort of, sort of like a mind vision type of a thing. Your hero c can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, stealth, and poisonous. Hmm. This is interesting because three six for four is good stats. It's just it's basically the same as a yeti. So there's nothing really wrong with that. This is a bit more defensive. I'm going to take this. This thing is so annoying to deal with, and it's good to help out in the future. Well, these are all really good. I'm going to take the Free from Amber because I don't necessarily have dragons to trigger this Duskbreaker, though that is obviously a very strong card. We'll just take that, especially because I got crushed with it before. Recruit, Resurrect. Okay, we'll just take the Giant Mastodon. At the start of your turn, set this minion's attack to 4. Uh-huh. So a 4-4 four, four for 3 is good, but having to wait a turn is pretty significant because your opponent, if he has any minions on the board, he has uh, two, a free turn to beat on it. I'm just going to take the 2-3 Giant Rat and the 1-1. One, one. Okay. Well, nothing's good here, so I'll take a 10-mana guy. I'm not sure it's actually good or not. We'll take some removal and healing. Ah, oh, this is... Oh, this is annoying. Bone Mare is obviously amazing, but I think Shadow Word Death is too good not to take in the arena. Okay. Also, a very good pack. Everything is good here. I think the removal has to take precedence over the big fatty, especially because I've already got some big fatties and even this undercosted fatty. Um, yeah, I'll take a Psychic Scream. Unconditional mass removal seems fine. Wow, lots of good packs in this one. Seen several mind controls. I'm going to take a Bone Mare, though. I think that's something you've got to grab if you can. Okay. I've got a lot of expensive stuff, so I'm not inclined about the ten Temple Enforcer. Let's go for some cycling, and it goes well with the Radiant Elemental. Choose an enemy minion. Uh, interesting. So it's like a cheaper mind control. What else is here? This is all right. This is okay, but vulnerable to mass removal, of course. Yeah, we'll try it. That could be a huge mistake, but we'll see. I need some early game. This is too expensive, and I've got a l very expensive deck going, so I'm going to take the Berserker. Uh, man, I'm not getting anything cheap. Okay. I will just take this guy, even though it's not that likely to go off. It's happened before. We'll take some more mass removal and life gain, because this is a slow-ass deck. We'll take another one of these, because this is a slow deck, and I want as much defensive possibility as possible. This thing's actually very annoying to deal with, but I'm not going to pass on Holy Nova with a deck like this. Okay, this is like a Nourish. It's pretty good. 
This gives me a three drop, but three is not the best place to spike your deck. We'll take this. See how that goes. And a four drop would be nice. A big one, too. But I like the idea of thinning out my deck, so I'm going to take the Piper. Well, that was a very greedy deck, so in theory, I could win some games just as I lost games with my Warlock, where if the opponent is not completely overrunning me with a super fast start, I might be able to just play one minion a turn and win. Even though, typically, that's not how you win games of Hearthstone. Maybe with my two Holy Novas and two Spirit Lashes, I can hang on for dear life. I do kind of wish I had taken that first uh, crack out of spell damage minion, because when I did take him later, I passed over a pretty good minion to do it, a buffing guy. And, uh, yeah, now I kind of do find myself wishing I had some more spell damage here. Okay, well, this is uh, pretty decent. I'm just going to keep this whole hand. Oh, yeah. And I guess I'll keep the whole hand. Yeah, this is pretty good for this deck. I'm not going to use my coin on turn one, but I do have... Oh, wait a minute. This is awkward, isn't it? This is going to be a 4-1 on turn two when I want it to be a 1-4. Unless it changes right away. We'll see, I guess. No, it's a 1-4 now, which means it's going to be a 4-1 next turn. So this is obviously pretty terrible to play. Alrighty. This guy's off to a pretty good start here. I guess I should just use the coin and play this. The 2-3 is decent against this 1-1 one, one thing. It does obviously suck that the Knife Juggler is hidden behind a Divine Shield Taunter. But if he doesn't play two minions, this thing's got a decent chance of surviving the Knife Fling. Yeah, uh, okay, this is... I don't know. It could be Redemption. That would be very good for him. It could be Noble Sacrifice. That would be good for him. Okay, well, um, let's see. I guess I will just play this... It is redemption. Alright, and that's unfortunate. So you had a pretty good run there with this Righteous Protector. That that being a turn one play was quite significant for him. The good news is I do have a two damage spell spirit lash if my opponent gets greedy. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay. Is he gonna be smart about this? Yeah, this thing needed to take one less knife fling. God, that's horrid that he got two knife flings on it. I mean, I'm going to have to Spirit Lash. It's not so much that I care about the life gain, but I need to take the Divine Shield off these guys so they die to the Holy Nova next turn. Two Knifelings on that really sucks. I could have uh, cleared the board and not had to use my Holy Nova next turn. All right, well, hopefully this stuff all dies to my Holy Nova. Oh, he's out of he's out of cheap minions. Because, okay, I guess that's what happens in the arena when you draw a bunch of your cheap minions and then already play one of those things. All right, I'm hoping this isn't another redemption. I mean, what are the odds of that? Okay, so it could be Noble Sacrifice. He drew a card with Loot Hoarder. I'm actually doing okay on cards and on health, so maybe everything's fine. Oh, no, of course it's not, because of course he's got a six drop right on cue. Right on cue. Okay. Um, all right, I guess we're going to play the Priestess. And I might as well put a Divine Shield on it. Ah, if only I had this at the start of the turn. Shoot, that's annoying. If I had had this at the start, the start of my turn without having to play Power Word Shield, I would have totally embraced Darkness, the Sunwalker, let it hit me for four, and then call it a day. Alright, let's see if he gets rid of the Divine Shield. He does. Okay. Well, no point in Holy Nova Ing. I guess I should just kill that. Oh! Okay, right, I forgot he had a secret. Mm hmm So now this is awkward, because if I embrace Darkness the Sun Keep Sunwalker now, he'll just throw it away. Uh, this game. Um I guess I'll heal it just so it doesn't die to the two threes. And then next turn I just gotta hail Mary my free from amber. The good news is I still have a lot of health. I don't have any more spell damage, so Holy Nova's never getting through, but I do have a what's her face? Um, Spirit Lash, and I can use Spirit Lash with my Holy Nova to clear out most of his board. It'd actually be a full clear at this point. Okay. Well, let's YOLO this. What do we got here? Eh, about as good as you can hope for. He does have these recruits to probably absorb one of the hits, but at least it heals me up, as long as he doesn't have a silence or something. But, I mean, that was always going to be... 
a screw you over kind of factor. Okie dokie, there's a quality. But the upside, at least, is that Holy Nova now clears his board. That's actually pretty significant. Okay, so this does not die to Holy Nova, but it does die to Shadow Word Death, and I can play both of them next turn. He decides to use his weapon, which is good, because that means that these guys are going to die to the Holy Nova now. Let me see. I'm not going to say I want to probe because I want to play the Chain Gang. Do I want to play the... No, I want to just Shadow Word Death this stupid thing. So I guess I should have Psionic probed. That was a bit of a mistake. Consecration. Good to know. It's actually pretty useful. It'll kill off these guys. Okay. Well, I can clear them off with Consecration. I'm going to try a bit of a goofy move here. I'm going to do this. It's risky because he can do 8 damage to me. I still have Spirit Lash in here. I still have Holy Fire. And stealing this could be really useful. Plus, I have Consecration to maybe clear some of his board next turn. All right. That's most unfortunate because consecration does not kill this so everything it does kill um just comes back as a ghoul all right this is not a particularly good game to show off the quality of this deck what would i need to survive here i mean i'd pretty much need something that can do a damage to this so the consecration kills it this thing has summoning sickness unfortunately Alrighty, well, we're playing the Mastodon. Doesn't really work that well because everything he throws into it comes back out of it. But if the Nixia survives, then I can kill this. Oh, of course, his, his, his right on cue is the right, you know, it's, it's, it's the right size of it, of course. That's just fantastic. And I'm dead also. Well, that was annoying. So, great start for this deck, Shlomadon. Uh, yeah, it was just a stupid, ridiculous game all around. I got turn one with that stupid protector and, a, and then turn two to knife juggler. The knife juggler threw all the flings exactly where they needed to go. And then, of course, on cue, he thinned out his deck with the recruits cards and then drew nothing but, like, big fatties value things for the rest of the game. So, yeah, nothing I could have really done there, I don't think. Maybe if I had probed first, I could have consecrated instead of holding over, but it wouldn't have changed anything, because the problem with both those cards is they deal two damage, not three, and I was out of spell damage. Adam and Adam, or Adam, Adam, there's no and there. Uh-huh, I don't think I can keep this. Keeping it is just a little too weak. I will keep the Serenite Chain Gang, just to make sure I have something to play on turn four, maybe even turn three if I get another four drop. Okay. Not bad. At least I have stuff to do, and maybe I'll be able to hold off against this hunter. Well, he passed on turn one, which is an improvement over the last asshole I played, so I'll take that. Okay, good times. I think it would be a little bit silly to not play a minion here and go for this gambit. Very unlikely he has nothing on turn three. Wow. Well, I guess that kind of worked out. I do get a 6-6 six, six on turn 4 here. I mean, on turn 3, but you get what I'm saying. Now he needs basically a deadly shot, or a quick shot, or a hunter's mark. But the quick shot and the hunter's mark require him to also hit, him, hit, hit it with his face, which he might not want to do. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that is actually a pretty effective stopgap measure. This guy is very, very good, this little gastropod. Unfortunately, I didn't get any removal of any kind, so we're just gonna do this. And I'm actually gonna play the wasp. Because if he has a big thing, I want the wasp to be there. I'm much more concerned about preserving the status quo than I am with getting ahead. Just given how greedy this deck ended up. Okay, so this is one of those where if I kill it, he gets an 8-8. So I don't maybe want to do that. Um, one interesting option I could do is I could actually <coughs> embrace darkness on it. And the idea there is that... Actually, no, screw that, whatever. I'm being way too finicky. Let's just play the Serenite Chain Gang. It stops this. It's a 5-mana... It's a 5-mana 2-2. Two two. It's just horrible to sacrifice this. 
And if it's not hitting my face, then he just wasted a bunch of mana to do nothing. Hmm, okay. That was pretty much the worst thing I could have possibly gotten. Um, should I steal this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna just steal it. I was thinking of Embrace Darknessing this guy, but... Um... This seems just as good. It's gonna be difficult for him to get rid of it, and it can only do two damage to it, so I get a 4-8. And I steal his 4-8 for 6 mana. It's pretty decent. I also have my Cabal Shadow Priest, which can actually steal this, which is a very good target for the Cabal Shadow Priest. If I were to be so lucky as to draw it. Uh-huh. Okay, he's throwing down some pretty good stuff here. Alright, what I'm going to do here is just keep it very simple. I think... Spirit Lashing for 2 doesn't seem good. I don't want to give him an 8-8 for no reason. But I do want to kill this. Then again, what's the rush? Alright, fine. We'll use this guy to kill the 2-4 and live. It does get it out of stealth, but it's still here, so it's going to be potentially very annoying for him to deal with. Um, sure, I'll do that. Might as well. We'll do that. I guess I might as well play this thing, and this thing, and heal myself. I didn't want to play this as my one source of spell damage, and as we've seen, it can sometimes be really useful in this deck, so I just thought I'd keep this in my hand until I'm actually going to use it, and in the meantime, get a good board. Now, I didn't position anything correctly for Explosive Shot or Grievous Bite or anything like that, so I might get punished here. We'll see. I guess all my stuff is above 2 health, which does mean that I'm pretty safe against the Explosive Shot kind of stuff. Alright, so should I cash this out? It doesn't seem like it makes a whole lot of sense to cash that out. Why would I do that? I guess for tempo. Otherwise, I could throw that away and then throw the Radiant away because I don't actually care about it and then just put five damage on his face. Although he does heal, or he does heal for four, but still. The question is whether I want to get rid of this. That seems pointless. Why would I get rid of that thing, given that... It might, for all I know, be stopping him from playing a whole bunch of good stuff. I still don't want to play that, even though hitting him for 4 damage every turn is good. It's just very vulnerable, and I want to make sure that I can buff my Holy Novas and Spirit Lashes, if that's what it comes down to later on. Eek, that's a pretty good Death Rattle. Okay. Glad it doesn't have any, like, feign death sort of stuff triggering your own Death Rattles, because... Actually, that doesn't work on this thing, does it? It would work on this, though. Oh, well, that's a pretty good top deck while I'm waiting for Ten to play the Ultrasaur. Uh huh. This I don't want to do because it could kill this guy. That seems bad. But this seems decent. So, what I'm going to do here is keep it simple. Let's trigger this while it's advantageous to me to do so. And then I am going to trade away all of his things so that it's difficult for him to get rid of this Wasp. Try to keep this annoyance as much as I possibly can. Only you can target this with spells and hero powers. Oh, it's got Hexproof. That's cute. Alright, he's got now a bunch of them in his deck. Okay, that's a little scary. But I do have the Wasp for it, so that's good. Okay, well, we'll just keep it simple here. Let's play the Ultrasaur. Kill his guy. And then, I mean, I'm threatening... Lethal? Not quite. Maybe I should have played a minion to threaten lethal. I've got 11, 14. Never mind. Okay. Well, I guess that's a pretty good top deck. Let's do that. And then I can just kill it. I got all these spirit lashes, which aren't particularly useful at the moment, but I am threatening lethal, so I might finish my daily quest. Yeah, go Boris. How about those apples? He's only got two cards. I got seven cards. I mean, this has to be a pretty good situation for me, right? I don't know what he could possibly do. Deathwing? I'd have to psychic scream it away. I could even actually ignore a Deathwing and just play Tiger. And I'm still almost threatening a lethal with it. One off. 
then next turn I could hit him in the face and then Psychic Scream. I could take a hit from Deathwing. Easy. Okay, I'm beginning to get the impression he was... Oh, no, never mind. I thought he was just stalling to make it take longer. Okay, so I got my daily quest. That's great. I guess we'll play one more game here and make this video a little bit longer rather than a little bit shorter. It's at 20 minutes now. Normally, drafting and playing two games takes you up to the 30-minute mark, but uh, I did lose that first game pretty resoundingly, so that's why that was a little fast. At least I performed well against the Hunter who didn't get any kind of a ridiculous draw. I suppose it did help that I got a 6-6 six, six for 4 because he had a slow start and used a weapon on turn 3 to kill my guy. But I gotta say that 6-6 that six, six for 3 that's a 3-3 three, three if it's not the only minion has been better than I ever expected it to be. My opponents have used it to good effect and I haven't minded having it either. Mr. Overlord. Not to be confused with Mr. Overjord. Do you keep this in your opening hand? Probably not. That seems like a dumb thing to keep. I will keep this just because it's a three mana guy and I might not have it better with this deck. Okay, Young Priestess is good. I'm not up against a Druid, a Rogue, or a Mage, so this might actually survive. Might even stop him from playing something early on. Okay, let's see how it goes. Wait, did something do a, a ringing noise? Where's the bell? Nope, I must have just heard it. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, that's unfortunate. It does give him a little bit of card advantage because this gives him a card and it does not give me a card. So we'll just stupidly pass the turn here. At least I took it off the board, but I'm beginning this a card down. He takes a card from my deck with this one. And now it's the usual tough choice. Do you play this or do you play this? This kind of starts to generate my own stuff, whereas this is more for stopping his stuff. I'll play this. I mean, if he was going to play a Yeti or something, he might think twice about it now. I think it's worth it, like I said before, to try to preserve the status quo rather than trying to get ahead. The issue is that later on when he's going to be playing bigger stuff, I might wish that I still had this. But I think I have another one and still in my deck, so I might as well try to... You know, take advantage of the short term. Ooh, he's playing nothing. Okay. Do I unstealth it? I might not want to do that. I'm just going to play this and see what he wants to do. Start generating some one mana minions. Of course, we got the worst one possible. Well, is that the worst? Is there anything worse than a 1-1 one, one at the one mana mark? Are there like zero twos that cost one mana? I'm not sure. I know Training Dummy is a zero mana... Zero two taunt. Oh, is he gonna Holy Nova? Yep, okay. Should have maybe seen that coming. But on the plus side, we got this guy. Now, obviously, he can have Shadow Word Death. But, you know, he can't play around everything. This guy's pretty weak. He's, my opponent has a lot of cards. He's been playing very slowly. If he kills this, I've got this guy next. Hopefully he plays something that I can steal with the Cabal Priest. Then I can really start to run away with it. If he lets this guy live and plays something else that I steal with the Priest, that starts to become a rather overwhelming advantage. He did get ahead a card with the Crystalline Oracle, and then he got ahead another card by using Holy Nova to kill two of my minions. I, uh, yeah, I'm not, on, I'm not on my A game here. I really should have at least been thinking about Holy Nova. Okay, it's not too bad. I think we'll just take the good option now rather than the best option later. And I am going to hit him in the face. I'm going to take a gamble that he can't do anything super great. I guess there is that thing where give him a unit plus two plus two and life steal or something, but even that's not super great here. He's demonstrated that he doesn't have shadow word death, so let's start hitting him. This thing kills him in, you know, five turns of attacking. Uh, this obviously would have been a better thing to steal, but at the moment, this is pretty weak for him. doesn't do that much unless he can inner fire. Oh, okay. Is he going to inner fire it? Oh, he's got a silence. Okay. So I have to be concerned about inner fire on this, because that would turn it into a 9-9, nine -nine, of course. Should I take the time? It would take my whole all my guys attacking to kill it. That seems really stupid. I'm just going to play this. I'll take this one value trade here. And we'll risk the inner fire. If he has it, he has it. But I want to go for the win right now. I've got this guy coming up later to finish the job, perhaps. 
And if this guy can connect for eight, that's really good. Again, if he has inner fire, that's bad because then he can kill my eight eight. But um, if he doesn't have that one particular card or like a crazed alchemist or something wacky, then this being able to connect can let me close out the game potentially before my opponent can start to mount a comeback. Okay, that's not super bad. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, great. Oh, we got an extra 3-3. Three, three. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Ooh, is that worth doing? That's very aggressive. By Holy Nova. No, that, that can't be the right play. We'll just do this and that. And I am actually going to go ahead and kill this. It's a little bit passive, but, you know, he's going to be at 15 health and this thing gets frozen. I'm just going to play this guy. He's still bigger than a Fen Creeper, and I've still got a pretty good board. He's got seven cards. I've got seven cards. I just want to pass the time till I can play this Ultrasaur. He's, hadn't, he's not had a Shadow Word Death for ages, so this thing might actually be good. Of course, I'm running into mind control problems. Spirit Lash is pretty weak at the moment because I'm actually ahead, which is something I never expected. Uh huh. That's a pretty crappy card, I think. I'm just gonna ignore it. Ooh, that is timely. I will kill that. We're gonna we're gonna play it a little slowly here. So we're still a turn away from his mind control, and I'm actually threatening lethal here. 8, 14, 18, 21. So he needs some kind of disruption. If he plays a Psychic Scream or something. Oh my god, he could actually get a Psychic Scream from this. That would be really, really great. Maybe I shouldn't have even played this. No, I think it's right to play this to threaten the lethal. I guess if he does clear with Psychic Scream, then I can play the Ultra Sword and... It's good, unless he plays a mind control. Yeah, there's definitely a way he could win this game. Psychic Scream plus mind control pretty much wins it for him, because then all my stuff goes away. I am down cards. Most of my cards are on the table. And then if he steals this, then I got nothing left. Oh, that's a good sign. So he didn't steal my Psychic Scream, mercifully. I don't even know what the odds were. But I'm glad he didn't break them. I do have lethal here. 21, really 23. Oh my god, he's at 24. <laughs> wow, 8, 12, 15, 21, 23. Okay, I am not... Okay, I should actually devour mine first here, just to see if I get anything good. Um, sure, we'll shadow word death. That doesn't seem smart, hold on. I don't think it makes any sense to Shadow Word Death that. Yeah, I should just heal this and pass. I need to save this in case he gets some big thing. This is really, really irrelevant, like completely irrelevant. So I need to save the death in case he finds something that is really devastating, like a Deathwing, for example. Now I'm threatening lethal, obviously. Any one of these minions connects and then a Holy Nova kills him. If I get the spell damage guy, that that kills him with Holy Nova. Of course, he can heal himself. I also have Holy Fire to kill him. He's really behind here. Gotta say, I've been pretty happy with this guy. Okay, that doesn't save him. Because I have enough damage to get through. No, I don't! Oh, hang on, I do not, actually. Because these two guys don't kill him, and this guy's frozen. Right. Forgot about that. Well, at least I got some coins. This thing, unfortunately, does not die to Shadow Word Death. Two Holy Novas should do it, though. There's one. There's two. And then that is enough to connect. All right. I might have had something with Spirit Lash Holy Nova. I'm not 100% sure, but didn't have to sit there thinking about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe if, in fact, you did. And uh, I will be back soon with some more Hearthstone. Take care.